Hi, this video is about the Careful Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2013 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 20, which also came up in the Grade 9-10 and 11-12 Contest. So the question is, this is the net of a rectangular prism. What is the volume of the prism? So we know that each rectangular prism has three different side lengths. So let's, let's call the longest one A, the medium one B, and the shortest side C. So we want to find out the values of the three variables, which are A, B, and C. So let's look at the first equation. So we will have c plus a equals 10. So the reason why we know this is a, it has the same side length as a, is because each rectangular prism has three different pairs of opposite faces. So if we look at these four long skinny faces, we can see that these two long ones are opposite to each other. These two shorter ones are opposite, and of course these two larger ones are opposite, so therefore this must have the same length as A. So the first equation that we have is A plus C equals 10. So now let's look at the second equation given to us. So we will have 2a plus 2b equals 26. But we know that this length is the same as this length because they both have a and b in them. So therefore we will just take this length which is a plus b and therefore we would have to have 26 which is 13. So the second equation will be a plus b equals 13. So now let's look at the third equation given to us. So we will have B plus C equals 7 centimeters. So our strategy is to eliminate one variable at a time, so therefore we will end up with the value of one variable, and then we can substitute that value into the other equations to find out the values of the other variables. So let's look at equations 1 and 2. So now we will do equation 2 minus equation 1. So we will have a minus a, which is 0. And then we will have b minus c, and that equals 13 minus 10, which is 3. So as you can see, these two equations both have only the variables b and c in them. So now we will do equation 3 plus equation 4 because we already have positive c and negative c which already cancel out to 0. So we would have b plus b is 2b and we will have 7 plus 3 equals 10. So now to get b, we will divide both sides by 2, and therefore we will get b equals 10 divided by 2, which is 5. So
So now we have achieved what we wanted to do. We have found out the value of one variable. So therefore we can just substitute b equals five into the other equations to get a and c. So let's do equation two. We know a plus five equals 13. Therefore a must equal eight. And now we will do the first equation. We have 8 plus c equals 10, so therefore we know c must equal 2. So now, since we want to find out the volume of the prism, we have to multiply those three sides together, which is a, b, and c. So we will do 8 times 5 times 2 is 40 times 2 is 80. So the volume is 80 centimeters cubed. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.